Let me know where you are ready to go back. Okie dokie. Look, there's a house over there. Let's check it out. Wow. Hold on, don't you think this is a little strange? What's strange? Doesn't the night seem a little long to you? Does. But how? There's an explanation for all of this. I'm Noel. I live here and guard the water crystal. That's why I'm here. Ivlet has already been here. He tried to force me to tell him the location of the water crystal. I didn't tell him anything, of course. So Ivlet has cast unending night over the island. It's terrible. The magic mirror could break Ivlet's spell. Please, I beg you, find the magic mirror somewhere on the island. Then release me from Ivlet's terrible magic. You can bring me the magic mirror. I'll lead you to Bubble Cave. That's where the water crystal is hidden. I will help you. Oh, you will? This is what the magic mirror is like. Please save me. Now we can break the spell that Iblet has cast on the island. Here we go! Thank you. You've broken the spell Iblet cast on the island. The warp that Iblet had sealed away can be used now, too. Just as I promised, I will guide you to Bubble Cave. The water crystal is hidden in there. Whoa! Shall we proceed? Absolutely! And follow me! Right behind you! Water crystal is in this bubble cave. I'm forbidden to lead you any closer than this. Please be careful. Here's the water crystal! Great! We got the water crystal! Let's take it back to Theophilus. Oh, well done. Well done indeed. You have obtained the water crystal. Power of the water crystal should allow you to push two level rocks. But you will still come across rocks that you cannot move. Don't worry, I'm sure the strength to move them will come to you in time. Now then, as I told you before, in order to suppress the power of the magic cat, we need to make an item called the magic seal. For that, we need three component items. This means there are two more left to find. If you're 
the earth crystals at the infernal cave and the ice crystals in the polar fields. Next you need to go to the infernal cave, find and obtain the earth crystal there. This is what it's like. In order to get to the infernal cave you need to pass through the crystal caverns from Whisker Woods. Hi there! Whoa there, now you're one crazy critter. Coming to Inferno Cave without a flame retardant suit? Is the Earth Crystal here? The Earth Crystal? Well, legend has it that it's deep inside Inferno Cave. But Inferno Cave is so hot, you'll never get through without a flame retardant suit. The heat will finish you off in seconds without one. Where are these suits? So you want to know about flame retardant suits? If you bring a Komodo dragon skin and some brass wire, I'll make it for you. This is what they are like. You can find both of these in crystal caverns. You would have passed the crystal caverns on your way here. We found a Komodo dragon skin and some brass wire. Now we can get that flame retardant suit made. Ah, so you found the Komodo dragon skin and the brass wire. I'll make you a flame retardant suit then. Thanks for being so patient. Here you go. With this, you can walk around Inferno Cave and not get cooked. At least, not right away. But it won't totally protect you from the heat. So make sure to cool off as you go. Oh, take this too. If you want a different color, bring this one to the fashion house. Then you'll be able to buy them from there too. Now we can walk safely through Inferno Cave. Let's go find the Earth Crystal! Let's go! Ah! Fantastic! We found the Earth Crystal. Let's take it back to Theophilus. Oh, well done, amazing. You've retained the Earth Crystal. The power of the Earth Crystal should allow you to push three, level three rocks, but you still come across rocks that you cannot move. Don't worry, I'm sure the strength to, to move them will come to you in time. Now then, as I told you before, in order to suppress the power of the Magic Cat, we need to make an item called the Magic Shield. For that, we need three component items. There's only one left to find now. Go to the power fields and find the ice crystal. That is what it's like. In order to get to the polar fields, you will need to pass through the crystal caverns from Whisker Woods. Okay. You're not from here, are you, kiddo? How do you know that? Oh, I can just tell by looking at you. The only people dressed like that around here are outsiders or fools. Either way, don't stick around for long. So what brings you here? A long way from the beach? The ice crystal! Indeed, the ice crystal is said to rest out in the polar fields. But you have one problem here. You'll be turned into a block of ice if you go out there without warm clothing. Which it doesn't look like you have, har har. <laughs> Very well, kiddo. Meeting you here must be fate or something. If 
you don't mind a palm me down, you can have one of my old ones. Thanks. But I do have one request. Ripe coconuts grow in warmer parts, don't they? I've heard the milk from them is really tasty. I'll trade you my warm clothing for a ripe coconut. I've heard you can find ripe coconuts out at Dolphin Coast. And this is apparently what they like. You can get to Dolphin Coast from South Paulville. Thanks for this. Looks like those are ripe coconuts growing up there, but we can't reach them. How can we get one down? Great! We got a ripe coconut! Here's the coconut! So this is a ripe coconut? It's not quite as exciting as I expected. Here you go, as promised. If you wear this warm clothing, you'll be able to walk safely around the polar fields. However, please remember this. They won't totally protect you from the cold. Make sure you warm yourself up every now and then as you go. You can have this too. If you want a different color, bring these to the fashion house. Then they should be able to start selling them there too. Now we can travel freely through polar fields. Let's go find the ice crystal. Let's go. Excellent. The ice crystal is ours. Now we can make the magic shield. Let's hurry back to Theophilus. 